Hello friends, today we're going to be talking about image to image and we're going to change this woman into a neon cyberpunk woman with long blue hair and cybernetic mechanical parts. Let's talk about the settings here. We're going to up the sampling steps to 50. We're going to change the sampling method to LMS. We're going to keep the width and height at 512 by 512 because that's what the AI works best with and it's a fast render. So let's stick with it for now. We're going to keep one image. The scale, that's how close the AI listens to your prompt. So if you set the scale to one, the AI will basically ignore your prompt. So we're not gonna get any neon cyberpunk, whatever. So it's basically just the AI thinking for itself. And if you set the scale to the max, it's gonna listen to your prompt to the letter and you might get inconsistent results. Now we got something, you know, decently cool, but you got a lot of artifacts here and it's kind of messed up. So we don't want this. Let's back the scale to about 10. Let's say a scale value between 7 and 14 is, is good. The denoising strength is how much your image will be changed. Stable Fusion works with noise to create something new. Out of noise, it will create images. So we set this to zero. We will have no noise. And the image will basically look the same. If we set this to the max, the image will change vastly. So we don't have anything left from the input image. Now we only have the prompt working and it's still a good image, but we're not getting what we wanted, which is this as an input. So we're gonna lower the strength. We're gonna set it to about 0.65, then up the batch count. So we have something to work with and let's try again. So now we're much closer to what we were looking for. We have our input image. We have these women are leaning to the right. The, this one and this one and almost this one, leaning in the same as this one. We have the hair over on the right side on these images, all three. This is you know, fairly close, but these are all very close. So let's pick the bottom right one because I'm feeling most cyberpunk. It's, we didn't get the blue hair, but we're going to look at that and fix that. So take this one, just drop it in there. And now we have a new input image that we will be working from. So we were lacking the blue hair. Let's put that into brackets. The more brackets you put in, the more weight you will give to the prompt. You can also use exclamation marks. Let's run it again and see what this gets us. So now we're getting some blue in almost all of the images. One, two, and three have some blue. Uh, this has lots of colors in the hair, but not a lot of blue. So I'm thinking that I think we're going to merge some images together. I like the cyberpunk vibe that I'm getting from the part here. I like the eye, so let's try and keep that. But I prefer the hair to fall down like the original image, like this one, or maybe this one and this one. We're not getting the blue like this one has, but let's see what we can do. Let's take this, slap that into Photoshop, take this, that in there. Now we're going to put a mask. I'm gonna hide this. I'm gonna paint back the parts we want. We have the hair here. We don't need all of this. Prefer the other one. Get rid of this. And then we're actually gonna paint some blue in here. Now don't worry about messing the image up too much. The AI will fix that. Let's save this one. I'm going to put that back in there. I'm going to lower the strength a bit because now we're getting closer to what we actually want. Let's set this to 0.5. Try again. Now this is much more interesting. We have the, still have the cybernetic eye that we wanted. The hair is blue in all of the images. This part that we saved is still resemblant of what we wanted. So I, I feel we're pretty close to what we want. And actually, I think this image is something that I want. I'm going to take that one and put it back in. Actually, this one. Now we're going to lower the strength even more, but we're going to up the steps to get more detail into our image. Let's generate. So we've got four new images, and I think these are starting to look super cool. And I think that this is the one that I want. So I feel that I'm happy with that. I'm going to take that image and I'm going to send it to extras and we're going to resize that 
let's put it, uh, well, let's max that out four times. And uh, this is upscaling the image. Let's generate. And there we have it. Upscaled version of our neon cyberpunk woman. I think this turned out really cool. And if you did too, please like and subscribe so I can make more of these explainer videos. And if you make anything based off of my tutorials, please put it in the comments so I can have a look at it. I really want to. So yeah, have a great day and bye-bye.